Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for the sign of Aries. We're going to be taking a look to see what's going to be going on for you guys in the coming week. And we're also going to be um, seeing if there's any messages that Spirit wants to relate to you guys. Um, if this video resonates with you, I'd really appreciate it if you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, I do offer personal readings, so if you want a more personal look at your situation, there's information in the description box on how to book a reading with me. Um, and I probably will be extending this reading. So if you're interested in a deeper or a more in-depth look at the situation that comes through in this reading, you're going to want to check out that extended reading. The link to that will be in the description box as well. All right, so let's see what's going on for my Aries. Eight of Cups. Somebody's walking away from something that's not emotionally fulfilling for them. Somebody's walking towards wish fulfillment, though. Yes, Four of Wands. Somebody may be walking away from a commitment or they're walking into a commitment, something more stable. Three of Pentacles. That's collaborating. That's working with somebody. Cooperation. Sometimes it's studying. Six of Wands. You guys are moving towards a connection that I feel like somebody's going to be really cooperative with you. It's going to be stable and it's going to bring you a lot of victory. Love. What else do we have here? The Wow, this looks good, guys. Um, we have the... There's a message of love coming towards you guys. If somebody feels a deep soul connection or you guys both... It's a mutual thing for sure. The Hierophant. Commit, guys, there's a commitment. Somebody's going to be offering you commitment. All right, what's this? Five of Pentacles. All right, now it's taking a little weird turn. We have the Nine of Swords. So what do we have? Page of Wands on the back of the deck. Interesting. What's this Five of Pentacles? That's abandonment energy. That's feeling like lack. And then we have the Nine of Swords. Sleepless nights, fear, anxiety. Hmm, let's take a deeper look. It was looking really good until we got to the end. So let's see. All right, what's the Eight of Cups? All right, let me reshuffle those. What's the Eight of Cups? The Moon. Somebody's walking into the unknown or walking away from an illusion. Five of Cups. The Hermit. Somebody's walking away from a disappointing situation. And choosing to focus on themselves, soul search, withdraw, spend some time alone. What's the Four of Wands? There may have been some type of conflict in a union here or some tension. Tell me more. The Empress. Tell me more about the Empress. What's that? The Hierophant. Somebody wants to... Um, it's like somebody that you may have walked away from because the situation was or that you've withdrawn from, they may, there was some type of conflict between you and this person, but they still feel a deep connection to you. They want to have a new beginning with you. This could be somebody that you have children with or somebody that you could have children with in the future. If it's not that, then they want a new beginning with you. They want a commitment here. What's the three of pentacles? Yeah, somebody wants to cooperate with you. They don't want to give up on a situation. Yeah, they still have hope in the situation. They want to heal things. Six of wands judgment yeah they want to have a successful resurrection of this situation but somebody is scared somebody has fear why Ooh, three of cups somebody has a fear about reconciling what's the three of cups they're they're fearful of communicating to you about reconciling They want this happiness and fulfillment with you. Ah, but they're feeling trapped in their head. They're maybe overthinking the situation. What's the Knight of Cups? Yeah, they want to give you an offer for reconciliation to heal things, balance things out. Yeah, because there was some type of bad ending with you and this person, and now they want to bring you justice. What's the love? What's love? Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or this is somebody that's very stable, mature, focused on their money, their career. 
Somebody's coming back from your past. This masculine's coming back. This masculine energy. Remember, masculine energy can be a, a, a feminine. It's, it can be a man, a woman, whoever. It can be anyone, okay? We all have masculine and feminine energies. Now, some of us are more in our masculine energy than our feminine energy. And some of us are more in our feminine energy than our masculine energy. All right? So, yeah, somebody's coming back from your past to ask for your forgiveness for an apology. The Hierophant. Mm, what's this? There's some type of a commitment that may have ended on this person's past. Maybe I was getting this. Maybe they're scared to tell you that they were involved with somebody else. Knight of Wands. But it looks like they're quickly moving away from another commitment to manifest something here. What's the Five of Pentacles? Yeah, this person was not probably giving you very much in the past. Now they want to have reciprocation. There was an obstacle that they needed to get through or an illusion that they needed to see through because they're gaining a new perspective here. What's the Nine of Swords? What about the Two of Cups? King of Cups. Hmm. What's the King of Cups? Death. Somebody has gone through a transformation. Something crumbled in this person's life. Yeah, there was some type of breakup. A toxic relationship crumbled here. The divine stepped in and gave this somebody the courage to end a toxic relationship here. Somebody may have a fear of expressing how they feel about you. They want a union, but they could have a fear of expressing their emotions. What, they're, what are they fearful of? Ah, they're fearful that things are over between the two of you guys. They have all this emotion for you, and now they, they don't know if you're going to reciprocate that to them now. Knight of Cups, but they're still coming in with an offer. What's this Page of Wands? Somebody has has gained, gained clarity. They want to speak a truth to you. There's communication coming in. All right, that's too many cards. All right. Three of Pentacles to cooperate. They want to cooperate. The High Priestess. What's the High Priestess? Hmm... What's the two of pentacles? Yeah, their intuition told them that they needed to release another situation. They couldn't juggle you. They couldn't have you and the other person. So they're ending this other cycle. Their intuition is guiding them to do so. And now they want to cooperate with you. Um, they've been taking some time to heal, to really contemplate this decision. All right, guys, that's what I see for you here. I hope that this reading helps you. Like I said, I will be extending this reading. So if you're interested in that, um, the link will be in the description box, but if you aren't interested in that, thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.